popping. Hey everyone, we are actually recording this on May 4th with Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. <sighs> More like Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Urge to Fall Asleep. Yeah, you did fall asleep first time, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. And you know what? <laughs> You know what? I don't care. I'm. A lot of people have said that this is the more boring film. Yeah, it did a lot of cuts, and it, it would cut to a scene that they didn't really need, and then cut to another scene, and then cut back to the scene, all for, what was her name, Padma? Pa Padme. Padme to change outfits a gazillion <laughs> times. Every time you saw her, she was in a different outfit. Can I please do a women women be dot 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 joke? Why? Go ahead, hurry it up. Natalie Portman was probably in her teens when she made this movie. Mm, maybe. So let's think about it. Being deemed royalty and in this movie getting to wear a lot of costumes. I have no idea why any teenage girl would want to be in this movie now. Mm. <laughs> Or maybe she was in her late teens, maybe yeah, early twenties. Yeah, I would say late. They don't usually do this big of a movie, like in 14, 15, 16. E.T., Drew Barrymore. Yeah, but Jodie Foster in... Uh, okay, I'm corrected. What was that movie? What okay. was her big movie? I don't know. <clears throat> Abigail Breslin, Little Miss Sunshine. But it wasn't this type of movie. With romance and stuff. Molly Ringwald, Space Hunters, okay. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone, or whatever that, or whatever that stupid movie is romantic. called. She wasn't romantic. No, she was just a whiny brat. Okay. You now, had to think of that one. Hmm. You had to put this, that voice in my head with it, that 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 nose guy. That she put him, that he could vote for her, or take her place while she was being protected the, by Skywalker? Atticus? The nose guy? In Jar -Jar. Space Hunters? Or in this? No, this. Jar Jar or whatever. Ooh, Misa Ganto helps you now! It's a master! Mm. I still think his master could have been the guy that they appointed to have power. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or it's Darth Vader. But. Should we even get into the plot? Because pretty much everyone and their twin sister has seen this movie. Yeah, but we just saw it. <laughs> should we talk about what we liked and didn't like? Or should we just... No, I think you should give a synopsis. Okay, okay? fine. Quick synopsis. Obi-Wan um, Kenobi is younger. Skywalker Attic, 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 Luke. Attican. No, it wasn't Luke. Anakin. Anakin. I think the father. Yeah, he's gonna be father. Um, so but basically, then does he turn into Darth Vader? These are questions we have got to find answers to. I don't think. If so. you know, please don't comment below. You know what? Why not? Or I'll no ask one comments my sister. On... I'll ask my sister. She might know. Okay. Um. So basically, what happens is is that. After a near attack on Natalie Portman's Padme character, it's suggested that she go kind of into hiding mm -hmm. for her safety mm -hmm. while the killers are yeah, trying to bounty, be found. Bounty, bounty on hunters. Her. Yeah, on her. Yeah. So uh, her and Anakin kind of vacation and frolic, while at the same time, uh, Obi. Obi-Wan Kenobi is doing like a space battle with with the bounty hunter. Oh, okay. Mhm. Mm um and then um then we find out Anakin's mother is severely she was sold and then who she was sold to kind of took her as a wife. And, and then, then when he got kind of de depleted her, basically. No, her leg got his leg got cut off, and then these weirdos came and took her away, and they went out searching. Basically, for left her. her for death. They went out searching for her, but not all of them came back. Oh, there won't be many coming home. Okay, stop. 
So oh, that's then, right. I haven't seen that movie. I don't recommend it. It, it okay. has probably it has probably about at least a uh, hundred n words more than your limit. Okay. So then he goes to this village. He finds which hut his mom is in. He unties her arms because she's just hanging there. Oh, and she's got scars. She's on left her face. for dead, basically. Yes. She's basically so, a, she's basically like useless to them. So she she tells him. Oh, Keep she, in mind, folks. This is what I just said. So you're so handsome. I'm so proud of you. I love. So anyway, she didn't say you. I don't think. So anyway, then so he wraps her up like a mummy. So this is when Anakin starts being a little going to the dark side. You are. Um. He then wipes out the village. <laughs> then, um, I don't. Ex I kind of lost interest a little bit. <laughs> when did they go into like this factory with robots? They were going where Obi Wan Kenobi was. Okay. And um, the thing of it is, though, is that you don't see what happened to R2. They have R2-D2 or R4. R2-D2. No, R4 flew with Obi to that place where the guy with the bounty hunter was. There was one f kind of funny... See, he was red. R2-D2 is white. There was one... And they didn't shine up. You see three, it's so three PO or whatever. There was one kind of funny part where they put another head on uh You see three PO C three PO and then they put C three PO's <laughs> head on another robot and he says, I'm so confused. Yeah, and the other guy was like, My legs won't move. I need <laughs> to go back. And then Blah, 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 stuff happens. Yeah, they and fight then, and fight and fight. And then there's a scene in a... Well, yeah, but you need to save Coliseum. Yeah, that's where they're all fighting. Okay, we're not going to talk about anything else. Oh, come on. This is where um, Yoda comes in. Yoda was in before. Or, I know, but he he's so, on a plane or a ship or whatever. I know. I know one big hatred that the prequels have is that they focus a lot on love banter lovey-dovey dialogue between it wasn't really lovey-dovey be well, can i finish <laughs> go ahead between anakin and padme and it's like like there's a line in the next movie where it's like i'm so in love with you so love has blinded you ah uh. Good, good, good. Love banter. Good, 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 good. Um, and yeah, there's like, t it's like the, it's like, oh, George Lucas, you shouldn't probably have written that stuff. But okay, <laughs> you know what? I've what? proved over and over again. I do not give a darn what critics say. I will tr I will talk negative about a movie that critics love, like Joker, Spinal Tap, Commando, and I will praise movies that critics hate, like Oogie Loves, the Bobbleheads movie. Um, in the past, I think I even said Jack and Jill wasn't that bad. Okay. <gasps> Shame on you. I don't give a darn. It's all a matter of perspective and opinion. Shame on you. <laughs> Are you in Are you even focused on the review? You're playing yeah. with well, boxes. You're, you're just talking about stuff. So anyway, um Okay. I agree. I agree that this movie is really, really slow and boring. But oh, come on, the fight scene, you know, the you know, the calcium when they were dodging the the asteroid boulder thingies and Die space. Hard Five had fight scenes. That doesn't <laughs> save the movie. I thought you weren't going to say Die Hard Five or any of the Die Hards. Max I, Payne. No, I thought you would bring up your favorite lady, Lady Terminator. Yeah. Well, I like that movie. I was I mentioning a movie that I didn't like. Oh, got it. You didn't like it, so it's not worthy. Um. 
Okay, I understand. An action scene didn't save the Transformers movies for me. Uh, or, Why would I give this a pass? Or Sword on the Stone. Oh, or... God. <laughs> well, actually, the beginning with those giant elephants was the most exciting part. So, anyway, I'm probably... I, maybe it's just me, but I'm one of those people... I'm one. I'm probably the only person that finds the Anakin and Padme stuff in this movie when they were essentially just frolicking and being... That was frolicking? Okay. <laughs> well, they were in flowers, and they were, like, recreating, like, what was that scene from Sound... Was it Sound of Music, where you're, like, running slow in flowers to, like, meet each other? No, they didn't do that. What was that movie, then? No, but where did they do it in this movie? Didn't they do, didn't they do that in, like, a flower bed? <laughs> no! <Yeah. laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, no. Maybe I need to get my water pipes cleaned. Anyway, um, I enjoyed that stuff, and I found that stuff more interesting than the Obi-Wan Kenobi stuff with the bounty hunters. And, I don't know, maybe it's just celebrity biasness, but I think Natalie Portman's Padme character is more interesting than Anakin than Anakin's character. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if they had done something to where I don't know. If it was focused on Padme's character. Well it kind instead of was. Of, well I mean the They had to protect okay. her. Okay. Maybe if they had focused on her instead of Jay Lloyd, maybe the series would have been a little bit better. Who knows? Who knows? But I I don't know. I find Find her. Nat Portman just has ch charm, okay? And these two, when they interact, it's like one line, then the other one says a line. And then one line, and then the other says a line. Natalie Portman, Natalie Portman for me, play a could play a gargoyle statue in a movie, and somehow that the best, Interesting. an incredible character to me. Okay, why don't we wrap this Oh, God. This is a tough one for me. How was it? it how do you do the, the fourth? I don't know. I think you're trying to Star Trek. No, this is Texas A&M Longhorns or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yoda only has like three fingers. Right? Oh, we found out that can actually do a Yoda voice. Oh, so no, I can't. Yeah, no, I can't. No. No. Mm. Believe it then. <laughs> At least the <clears throat> close enough, folks. <laughs> I'm not. I don't do well. Hey, you want to hear how Forte would do? No. Would do no, Yoda? No. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Mm, believe in the force, you must. <laughs> okay, so a big Star Wars fan, you probably already seen this. We're watching them out of order. No, we are in order. No, we watched them in the theatrical order. Yeah. It was like six, four, one. No, two. we did five, six, the holiday, or no, we did four and five, and then the holiday special, and then six, and then, and one? we're doing one, and two, and next year we're going to do three, and then seven, we'll and then Rogue it, One. We'll forget what it's all about. Seven, ro bullet reboots, and seven. Okay. And I would say. On. Let's get going. I would be if you're not a huge Star Wars fan, just kind of let me do a little bit of. After that, um, after the open part where. Uh, you had to read fast. <laughs> bigger screen. Than no, no, TV. I'm talking about chase scene at the beginning. Oh. After that chase scene, um, just like. I, I would argue fast forward to the Natalie Portman. Portman parts. You're not going to necessarily miss a whole lot. Because she's, she's in a lot. Mm -hmm. Join us next time when we 